Hey, this will be a video chart on General Motors, ticker symbol GM. Uh, unless you don't really follow the news too much, they IPO'd yesterday. And with that being said, obviously the daily chart, as you can see here, is only going to have two candles. So what I'm going to use for this is the 15-minute chart. And you do see this price moving. That is because the market still has eight minutes left until the closing bell. Um, but we'll see what happens as through the course of this video. But having a very nice strong finish the Dow Jones just went green and is up 12 points right now and it's good to see that GM's going with it pretty crazy day um, and very crazy you know day yesterday too pretty big range but I just want to go over the chart and kinda of map out you know what's going on from a technical perspective uh, as the second day of trading uh, wraps up uh, for the new GM I should say so at yesterday as I mentioned you know it started off strong and then from there when it broke down the remainder of the day was just uh, the downtrend and then today uh, when it opened up you know took a, a big you know uh, drop down here and then the rest of the day has kind of been the opposite of what this day was so uh, when it opened up yesterday went up and down and then today it opened up going down and now the rest of the day it has been going up so kind of a reverse of roles compared to yesterday's price action. Now as far as supports and resistances, you know that stuff's all kind of, um, I mean they're out there but from a daily chart you really can't tell much from it and you won't be able to until, until probably about a month I'd say, you know that's my opinion but I'd like to see at least you know get 30 days or so up on a chart. But from the 15 minute you can start to see some things take shape. The first being uh, this level right around here which was a uh, area of support for a little bit and you can see that it acted as a support right there and then for quite a few candles in a row uh, it provided support when it fell you can see the consequences of that so this level uh, right around uh, the 3475 is going to be an area of resistance right now and once more this is the 15 minute chart so we're just talking intraday here uh, but 34.75 would be a good level to see the price get uh, its head back above and you can also see this just shows how uh, young the chart is but uh, this purple line here is the 50 period simple moving average starting to take shape and you can see uh, it's providing some resistance right now uh, the price was above it uh, but and it's still fluctuating right around that area but uh, with the close above that that'd be another good sign of strength uh, but the positive thing to see after yesterday's next the action was uh, that the short-term trend has gone uh, bullish. You can see these two short-term moving averages were clearly pointing downwards. Uh, but then after today's action, uh, they both started to curl up. The blue line being the 10 period, uh, this maroon line being the 20 period. And with these ones, uh, you know, heading upwards like this, this does show us that the short-term trend is bullish for right now. Uh, as far as supports, uh, the easiest thing to probably measure that is just going to be these moving averages. Uh, more so uh, the 20 day or the 20 period I should say excuse me opposed to the 10 period which is that blue line so ideally we want to see uh, the price stay above uh, this uh, 20 period uh, simple moving average here and obviously yesterday with IPO just huge volume so the volume does look like it's dropped off a lot but it's still been good volume today uh, but it is nice to see this volume bar right here um, you know creeping up quite quite a bit bigger in the last 15 minutes so definitely getting a, a big surge uh, relative to the rest of this day's action uh, going into this last 15 minutes four minutes left you can see it's gonna make an attempt to close above this purple line uh, so we'll have to see what happens but that's what's going on with the chart so far like I said a very young chart only two days old uh, but with a 15 minute you can start to get a, a intraday type look into in terms of what's been going on so we'll just have to see what transpires as you know each day come uh, comes and that way we can get a, a better daily chart on it if there are any other questions on the GM chart for the time being uh, please let me know if not I'd encourage you to check out bullwarriorstocks.com if you go there and sign up for the free newsletter you'll be sent a free ebook and with your newsletter subscription you'll get chart setups trade ideas educational pieces all sorts of things from big boards down to penny stocks so there's a good variety something for everybody it is all free we've been making some good money together on our alerts so I'd encourage you to head to the website sign up and see what it's all about one more time, this was General Motors. Thanks for listening.